friends, welcome to I Married the Chef. Who could that be? Today, I'd like to introduce you to our new host, John, and myself, Jennifer, host. and this is our first show. Host, what is this, a talk show? Well, no, host. host. Well, what am I supposed yeah, I'm, I'm, to I'm, say? You know, it's not a host thing, and, and you don't know they're our friends yet. We've, you know, you don't even know them. Well, I know many of the people that watch our show. Are you kidding with our Facebook page and everything? I'm very happy that they're here to watch us. So that's what, four people? Okay, anyway, listen, listen. Aren't you surprised they gave us our own show to begin with? I mean, somebody was obviously asleep at the wheel. We flew under the radar screen. I mean, This is true. This but, is true. But, okay, let's be honest, though. Let's start off on the right foot with everybody out there. It's no surprise that I got the show. You, this is your big break. So, you I'll know what? you got to make the most. break. I we can't, were a duo I this. can't carry you forever on this. You're going to have to do this. I mean, they're already taking applications for well, replacements. I'm just telling that's you this okay. so you know. That's okay. You we'll know. see today because I am actually going to stand behind the stove and I am going to cook something today as well. And that's, so. that's why we have the 911 number. Oh, that's just fine. Tell us what you're are making. You, are you actually smoking things every time you set fire in the kitchen? Is that like a cooking technique? <laughs> well, that's why I actually Is removed the fire and <laughs> the smoke alerts in the Anyway. <laughs> I'm kidding. I didn't really do that. She did. It's there. We, we live in danger no, and constant no. peril whenever she enters the kitchen. <laughs> Listen, okay, but here's what we're going to do. Remember that old commercial where it said, where's the beef? Hmm. I was, was kind of young then. I, I might have the old button in the basement, but please I'm tell me. I'm not that old. Anyway, listen, where's the beef? Yes, well, yes. you know what? Today is going to be very exciting because we're going to make <gasps> a huge... You okay? Well, I just want you to... It's the vibe. We're trying to, trying to get that enthusiasm. We're, yes. we're going to make a huge, giant meatball stuffed with angel hair pasta and my special homemade sauce. Where I'll be revealing to you my secret recipe for <gasps> making the best... You know, that's to totally lack of sincerity. No, you're right giving there. up you know, your actual recipe from your little no, blue book? No, I'm going to give a few little things, but we're going to post the oh, recipe on Facebook. Oh, you have to give it up once it's on TV. Book. Okay. Okay, so we're going to make the biggest meatball. Now, by the way, just as a side note. Yes. Someone told me that the biggest meatball ever made was 1,100 pounds, and I think it was in Ohio or something. 1,100 pound meatball. Really? This isn't going to be 1,100 pounds. This is going to be three pounds. What would, like... Do people like well, they it's come like those out big and submarines. Eat it? Like, have like you, you have that and then they're eating okay. off the side. Have you ever seen those like big hero gross. subs? That's different. That's like again in the can, Guinness Book of World Records. They just seem ugh. That's less, a lot of meat. Well, it's a lot of meat, but it's you're going to feed a lot of people. Anyway, okay. let's get right okay. to it. Yes. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start off with three pounds of lean ground beef. Now you can put in pork, you can put meat in, but what you want is you don't want a big greasy meatball. So. <laughs> You don't want a greasy meatball. That sounds so disgusting. Are you okay. helping me? So we're gonna okay. have a dry meatball. So <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Great. Go half, ahead. Half, half of a sweet or yellow onion. We'll start with this. By the way, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. The sauce is already made because we only have so much yes. time. As is the angel hair pasta. You cook it al dente, which is roughly. If it's not fresh, but out of the package, roughly around four minutes, and they'll get a nice little, you okay, know. Okay, nice now is there a reason you picked the... Uh, angel hair? Yeah. Because if you get too big, it'll cause the meatball to explode when it comes up. <laughs> that happens. And you don't want exploding meatballs. meatballs. <laughs> no, no. Thank you. Now the sauce, meatball by bomb. the way. Okay, you can stop talking Okay. Now. All right. The sauce, the sauce, two secret ingredients, that's right, beautiful. Two secret ingredients to make a great sauce. Do you need me to Cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a big pinch of nutmeg. And I know you hate nutmeg, I but do. it adds a great flavor to it. So we start off with three pounds of meat, half an onion. We take then Romano cheese. I suspect about you need a quarter to stir of a cup this, of Romano cheese. Stir this occasionally too. Then this is a lot meat. of extra fresh parsley. Yeah. You take in a couple of big pinches of parsley Can you like use that. Dry parsley? No, no, no. Some, oh, you, really? You know what? Now remember, Jess, we've talked about this before. Dead set against that. Well, if you, by the way, if you only have dry parsley, the ratio is, for example, if you have a tablespoon of fresh parsley, mm -hmm. it only takes a teaspoon of dried parsley okay. because dried herbs. It's herbs, not herbs, by the way. Okay. Herbs have a greater punch. So, again, that ratio. Just remember that. I will. Then you add. A couple, of, uh, a, a couple of cloves of garlic. I usually like to add a little extra garlic. And by the way, when you're doing these recipes, taste it and experiment with it a little bit. Some people like a little more garlic like I do. Some people like a little less, but you want to add it in there. Then you take the eggs. One. Do you see how fast I did that? <laughs> Great job. 
Hey, listen. I'm so used to the kids, I was going to say, hold the side of your bowl. There you go. Look at that. I mean, the colors are already great like this. We'll put this somewhere. Here. Oh. There you go. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, John. You're a big Thank help you there. Thank you very much. All yeah. right. We take Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, and here's the secret, secret ingredient here. Club soda. A tablespoon of club soda. Aren't you going to ask why you put in club soda? Well, and after cleaning the egg off my hand, sure. Why do you put club soda in Because that? it makes the meatball enlighten, airy. Enlighten our friends. Friends. Friendship. Salt. Salt. And then a tablespoon yes. of Worcester sauce. Or wait, somebody said, is it Worcester or Worcester? I say Worcester sauce. Okay. Tomato, right. tomato. There you go. So about a tablespoon. Now I'm eyeballing it, Roof but there rough. you go. Crick Creek. Crick Creek. Tomato, tomato. All right. So we've got everything. Shall we go on? You're not a big help. No. So we mix <laughs> this all in. It was going to be. <laughs> we mix this all in. Look at that. Oh, you want me to hold the bowl for No, you? that's okay. I'll master it pretty soon. Bet there. you if you had a cloth under there, it wouldn't slip as much. Okay. Put a cloth under there. Go ahead. Okay, I'm here to help. I really am. Okay, now lift up the meatball because I don't like to touch with the... Oh, just there. there. Well, you know what? You want to be safe. Food safety is important when handling meat. All right. Oh, it's just it won't hit the floor and then you'd have to start again with another three pounds of meat. That'd be an awful waste. Just right. helping. Just helping. All right. So, mix this together. And again, don't over mix it. But you want to get very good there. Now, you know what you can do is bring up that sil uh, foil lined bowl. Yep. Absolutely. Now, when you do this, you get it all mixed together. I think we're doing pretty good for time. Now I know what this was, because yesterday you made a mold like this and I, Take without a, putting meat in it, I made a hat for Quinn. He loved it. That's why there's like hair on the meatball. Like a warrior. That's why shouldn't, have reused, hair shouldn't have reused the full. <laughs> take, a third, take, a third, take a third of the meat, okay. put it aside. That's going to be the roof. Whoa. There we go. Now. Put that down and you can take that bowl away. There you now, go. here's the key to the meatball. Now, you line this in an oven safe bowl because you're going to put this right into the oven like this. Now, the key is when you do this, you want to punch it down. And by the way, you check the bottom of the bowl for Pyrex because a lot of people don't know that and they'll throw a thin a glass, glass bowl, bowl in and then it cracks. So, yeah, a glassy always meatball. check. Yeah. Okay, now you, you shape it. That. Now, here's what's key about this okay. is when you make the meatball. Mm -hmm. When you make this, you've got to make sure that the ends and the bottom are thick enough. About yay big, just like that. See? An inch. About, well, a little less than an inch. Because if you make it too thin... Well, then that would be that I don't know. Much. I grew up on the imperial system. Okay. You grew up on the metric system. I was talking with somebody about that earlier today. Yeah, you dated I still yourself don't. again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I still haven't figured out the metric system yet. I don't know if anybody else has. But... Okay, what's okay. next? Okay, no wait, just wait. I want to make this shape. I, I mean, listen, I do swans with this and busts and everything. I All mean, right. meat, sculpting meat is a lost art. Okay, now, <laughs> if you could pass me the tongs over there, please. These ones? Well, that's a knife and that's a ladle. Well, thank you. I, I was thought reading you were gonna, my I, notes before I came. I thought you were going to learn how to do some of this stuff I, we actually came on the show. I was trying. Then, oh. You add a little bit of this here. Get that on my shirt. I won't be happy. Now, they say add two cups of pasta that you pre-prepared. And you add about a cup and a half of the sauce you make beforehand. Look at this. Nice. And, okay, the sauce goes in the noodles. No, just a little bit. Just a cup and yeah, a half of it. Yeah, because you just don't want a bunch of white noodles flowing out well, of no, the Well, no, it, it, it makes the meatball <laughs> juicy on the inside. Why are we... <laughs> Nobody wants to hear about juicy meatballs, no, okay? No, no. All right. Then we take this like dry. this. Okay, so you see we pack it like this. All right. And I'll give one oh, more. Oh, I see, scoop. and then that's the top. That's the top, and you shape it and mold it. And you sort of crimp, crimp it like you do with a pie crust. Same idea, except it's meat. There when we go. When was the last time you made a pie crust? Hey, I make a great from scratch pie crust. Really? Yeah. It was about, I don't know, six months ago I made a pie. <laughs> That's what I thought. What did you think? That it was a long time, just like your uh, comfort bread, soda bread. That's great bread. You had it last year. Yeah, but the memory uh, still lingers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here, you put that onto there. And again, you oh. crimp it down and you round it. Okay. That's sweet. I got to go around the edges like this. Okay, so you don't need the rest of the spaghetti right now? No. You okay. can remove that. Keep the sauce there, though. Yeah. 
because we're going to do show you what to do with the sauce when the meatball comes out. But look at the shape here. Okay, that's great. Look at the vibrant colors. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this, fold it up on the side, so you bring it around. Right. But make sure you leave a little hole open for venting. Okay. There we go. Just like that. See? Plain peekaboo with you. Okay. And we put it into the oven. Now you you bake this. Yes. It's like a meatloaf, 75 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, I have it open for you. Okay, so we put that in the oven. Now I'm going to take these off. You can close the oven now. It, it cooks better when the door is closed. Okay. You really need some basic training for cooking, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. Okay, oh, let's go I, through this again. Shall I take this your is, what's this? This is a knife. That's the knife. That is a, it starts Ladle. with an L. There you go. And this is a Spatula. Spatula. Very good. Go. Thank okay, you. Okay, so now what's next? Okay, so it bakes for 300, uh, three, uh, bakes for 75 minutes at 350 degrees. And 75 then two, minutes. 75 minutes. Step aside because through the magic of television, uh, we now bring out our finished meatball. Now, a couple of quick things. When you pull the meatball out of the oven, you take it and you drain out any of the excess fat. Again, you don't okay. want a greasy meatball. No, no greasy meatball. And then, you turn that back like that. Look at that baby right there. I'm assuming there. you have to do. Now I want to warn everybody like of something. This, by the way, when you turn it over, it can break apart a little bit. It just depends, but it can. Okay. Not to worry about it because you can bring it together. We're going to cover it with sauce anyway. But okay. the perfect meatball goes like this. Okay. So Take it like just this. like doing a jelly mold. That's right. And then I flip it over like this. See? Look Let's at that. See? Drum roll. And may I give you the bowl? Yes. And what do you think of that? That is awesome. Look at that meatball. Now we get our sauce. Pass me this. There you go. Oh. No, that's a spatula. Okay. You use but this you for sauce. Ask ladle. Well, what well, do you maybe spoon sauce your with? Okay, so then we that's put it like fantastic. that. That's fantastic. I know. Well, see, I told you, I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> look at that. Well, you know what, though? I want to center this a little bit. I mean, that's a good idea. presentation is everything. Okay. Then we add our sauce. Well, well, I want to it's, see I the feel inside. like I'm just at home. Hurry up. Okay, look at that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, you made me nervous. I, I spilled the sauce. I walk with the knives in my hand. Okay, one more little bit of sauce. Now, this sauce, and again, the secret to a great sauce, secret to a great sauce is cinnamon and nutmeg. And then you add a little bit of this. Wow. You look at that. And then to give it a little bit more flavor. I could see this like guys having okay. like, watching the football Okay, now let's game. just stand back and look at it because this is what you're going to have to try to... You know, I raised the bar pretty high in this first that, one. That, that's pretty cool. It is. Look I at it. Say, that's pretty cool. So, let's see what it looks cut. like. Oh, and, and look at it. it doesn't crumble. Well, because I know what I'm doing. Oh, that's really neat. And you see the sauce there? I made a mess. So then you just serve that. And on you the use plate. A, 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 a ladle or whatever. <laughs> uh, Hi, I'm Kyle Adelin. I'm a co-op student here at Rogers TV. I really enjoyed this co-op placement because all the people you got to meet, they're so welcoming as well. The new experiences such as covering 67's games or being a reporter for High School Sports Zone, it's all a big new experience. I want to be a reporter because with High School Sports Zone, I got to learn how to like properly write reports and cover games properly. I would definitely recommend this program at Rogers TV. No, this is not a London fog scene. As I said earlier, call 911. We've already got smoke here. <laughs> I don't know what you're making, but I do have a fire extinguisher handy. I'm grilling. You're grilling. That's I'm what grilling. you call it? I thought that's I'm called grilling. burning or starting well, a fire. Well, you know what? It's just, okay, there's a little something okay. going on, so but it'll be us. fine. Tell us the slop you're making today. The, oh, it, now it's my turn to make the slop. Okay, well, the slop I'm making is an incredible flavor-bursting salad that can be made so into a beautiful meal. And what? You're going to, what, fry lettuce? Oh, stop. Listen, let me just get to it. I don't even want to. Mm. 
First of all, I have to make the glaze. Okay. Okay, because we're going to glaze the ham and we're going to glaze the pineapples. So in order to do so, you'll need, I've already pre-mixed everything, so this way it's a lot easier. So if you at home want to make it, uh, pre-make it the day before or whatever, for when you come home, well then, uh, you know, it'll be ready in the fridge for you. So it's half a cup of marmalade. It's two tablespoons of minced pi actual pineapple. Uh, two tablespoons of uh, pineapple juice, and believe it or not, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Now, the longer you leave it sit, is that better because the flavors interact a little bit better? Yeah, I imagine it would. Here, let's And we're right going to turn this down just a little bit. Fire. Fire. Everyone, move <laughs> to the exit safely. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. That's wonderful. Yeah. So anyway, we just pour everything in. It was a foggy night in London. Stop. The idea is that... You put everything in the pot and then you just mix it long enough so that the marmalade melts. Do you smell that? Yeah, it's, it's, it smells it's good. I'm also wondering whether or not my insurance is paid up just in case we have a cooking accident. You know, you are such a funny guy, but you know what? I can focus on this because we have four kids, under 11 and under. So then I'll just do it so you can see it's melted. Okay. So then I'll just put this in here. Then what we do is to make it a nice little glaze. And it's oh, look, it's melting off the and bottom. And it's also going to be used as a salad dressing. Thank you very much for your commentary. So oh, you I just throw it. <laughs> so you place it in a blender, just quick. By the way, sure to interrupt, but you know you can make great scrambled eggs with that. That's yeah. just a tip. The best fluffiest scrambled eggs come with that kind of That blender. is true. Yeah, I love this blender okay. for that. Okay, and then just separate some of it so you'll have it as a salad dressing after. I'm just going to turn that off. Okay, thank you for doing that. Ah, you know now, I'm what we want to do is grab our baster. So then we can start with one of the pieces of ham because what you'll do is, what you need to do is just glaze Oh, you see, that's why the skillet was so hot, because you want that sizzle. Well, yeah, because you want to sear it. Can you hear that sizzle? Wow. So then, you know what? You're being a big help. Why don't you put the lettuce onto the plate? I mean, this one right here, okay. Do I do it one at a time? Well, or just? yeah, I use romaine lettuce. Okay, there. And then what I'll do is I keep glazing also the pineapple. Is that all right? Is that enough or more? Yeah, I think you'd want a little bit more. Although our pet rabbit would enjoy that very much. 23 pounds. Yeah. We have a 23 pound uh, pet rabbit. Pet rabbit. Mr. Hoppet. French lop. Big yeah. ears. And there. There. How does that look? Did I organize this well? Well, given once again that this is for a meal, you'll want to dump the whole <laughs> container on the Well, yeah, but then there's no room for Put it on plate. the plate. There you go. Well, yeah, but that's a huge mound. Remember Seinfeld? The big salad. Yes. Okay. It's got to be a big salad. There, how's and that? And you'll feel fantastic after eating this. There, does that meet your Yeah, approval? I love okay. that. I like a big salad. Okay. All right. I'll move this. When do so, you need this? Where do you need these? Okay, what you do with that? Those are uh, egg yolk, whether they are egg yolk noodles. Okay. Okay, then you just spread them around in the salad. Well, use right your now? fingers so you properly place it because every time you want to take a bite, you want to have a crunch. Wait, wait. Okay. There, yeah. how's that? Can we frame that? You know what? You're killing me. All right, so then... Hey, I wasn't the one who pulled a knife on you. You did that to me last time. Well, see, look at this. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful. Look at that. See how great that is? I'm not is? watching the pan this time, though. And it's fat, and it's really quick to make. So then just like this. There, how's this? Is that enough of the noodles? See, I'd even just take that off now, turn off your oven, and it'd be easy cleanup as well. What do you do with this? I'll show you in one second. Because if you haven't tried it, spicy Thai chili sauce is amazing. For some reason, I don't have a fork. Well, you got the, the tongers there. Yeah. See, I work with what I have. I don't need all the stuff on my counter. Did you see I my mean, meatball? Hey, could you guys put a picture of my meatball back up? I mean, that's perfection. That's the standard for the whole show. You better match that with this. Yeah, you know what? There's Remember, people are watching. I don't know. All Some that of them, meat. it's their first impression. See, this of is us. an alternative for the person who doesn't want to eat half a cow. Well, that's not for one person. <laughs> you know, you share it. That's for a party. Oh, what kind of parties gosh. do you go to? <laughs> okay, here. Ooh, look at that. See, that's nice charring on there. Thank you very much. 
Can you imagine I actually know what I'm doing? Oh, yeah, I know that. I know you're trying to. Make I'm me helping look, you. I know hey, look, you want to make me look Everybody out bad. there is saying, he's so helpful. Yeah. He's so supportive. Yeah, they all relate to me and they feel bad for me. They'll be writing in, sending me the sympathy cards. Okay. Well, at least your mother likes me finally. <coughs> yeah, how much you pay her? Here. Okay, look. Okay. Oh, that looks nice. Look at those charring. So you're going to put the grill up there, though? So I don't want to burn my fingers. Well, I know, but you want to put the grill up. You want okay, to show Okay, well, it. you burn your fingers well, then. I'm not Thank gonna... you. You See, burn that's... your fingers for me. That's true love. Yeah. All right. So this is coming along. Okay, okay but well, did do you hear? No. You do this part? Okay. Because he enjoys it. Okay. You, you make my salad pretty. There, no, I'll but look. The... Okay, come on. The char marks are what does it. Look at this. You, you know, you put this side in, it looks like, eh, it looks like somebody put, you know, cold cuts on it. This shows that you actually did some cooking. Well, yeah, unlike me, you're very Is that enough? oriented. Is that enough? I would say so. Now, would you like to put the pineapple on, oh, too? Oh, okay, I can do that as well. Look at that. Here, why don't I help you hurry along here? Oh, that one got away. Because you want to serve this when it's still warm. Right. Here we go. There, you know, the more... See, that's why you needed a bigger plate. Look, look at and this. Look at, and look how pretty this looks. I know, but a bigger plate would have been better. Well, perhaps it's it would have been. It's going to spill over on the side, and then people are going to be eating this at a dinner party. Okay, next time I'll make sure that I bring plates that are more proportional. See, and I'm not going to lick serving. my fingers this time. You've got goo on there. The <laughs> one time we did a show, you said, ooh, how unsanitary. <laughs> ooh. That's good. You licked your fingers. That's what you did. Okay, but I'm not cooking and, this segment. Well, yeah, but it's okay if it's just us. It was because we had uh, someone else on the show that, <laughs> that was going to be, <laughs> that wanted to eat it. And I thought, yuck, you don't put your fingers in food and, I didn't and let someone double else eat it. Dip. It's, you there's another dip Seinfeld with your episode. Finger. There's another, you know, you if double you double dip. dip, it's like you're putting your mouth in the whole bowl. Just dip it once and end it. That's what yes, you're saying. Yes, I know. But I just took one piece. I didn't put it back after but biting it. But you licked your look, finger and then I, you would put your okay, food look, back. Okay, look, if I did this. This is an argument that's never going to end. We'll probably be driving mm. home tonight See, now talking look, look, about look. this. If I did that and then put it back. Okay. That would be rude. Okay. But I'm going to eat the rest of this. Okay, well, thank you for helping. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, with the rest of the glaze that I made, then, and yes, do you like my little, wasn't that mm -hmm. creative? I thought that was cute. That's a teapot, but we'll work on teaching you all these things. Okay, let's just hope it pours out. Oh, it's not coming out as much as I thought it would. Oh, well, we'll just do it this way. You know way. what? This is like when you did the, the kitchen tips. Oh, yeah. That it didn't work, but they were great tips. Yeah, well. It was, you know what? Sometimes things have to not work so you can show people how to do it the wrong way before you do it the right way. So you're, you're serving a good public service there. Yeah, I'm here to help people on how to not screw things now, up. Now, what's, okay. what's this? this is okay, well, this is the sweet chili sauce. Did you make this from scratch? See, I make all my sauces from scratch. Does it look like I made it from scratch? Well, I see that's a disappointment. You well, should have made it from scratch. What about I make mine from scratch. I would have roasted the red peppers, added the sweetness. It's like my spaghetti sauce. You could make spaghetti sauce and buy it in a can. Mm -hmm. This is much better, yes. you know, if you make it yourself. Mm -hmm. How about this? Why don't you make your own sweet chili sauce and bring it on the next show? You really want to tell me to do something else with that. But oh. you can't say it on TV. No, I you can't. You can't say shut up on TV either. But I'm thinking it. Yes. Okay, so back to what I was doing. Cooking. So anyway, so... Yeah, you're <laughs> the, trying. The sweet chili sauce, I mean, I really do love it. It's great on everything. So it is a little bit spicy, but yet it's really, really sweet. So you don't want to put a whole bunch of that on. Look just at that enough. hand strength. That's incredible. Yes, I know. I go to the gym. I work out. Like Me too. That? Yeah, I don't sing though. I have a terrible singing voice. So anyway. Cruising, cruising together. Okay, we won't go yeah, into yeah. that. We won't go into that. So anyway, so here's a completed salad. That's Tell it. me that's not awesome. Okay, but is there a fork so I can try a taste? You know what? That's a really good question. You I, see, I put you them see away. preparation. I put them away. Preparation. I don't even know if that's been washed. <laughs> I'll let you use it. Preparation anyway. is the key. I mean, what do you can... What can you do with that? Here, use some tongs and eat it like that. Okay, look, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> this is a sucker play because then they'll have me forever on TV saying, there's a guy who eats with his fingers. What is he, raised by wolves? <laughs> I'm trying to push it so down, man. So why don't we, wait a second, let's do okay. this. Let's just take a minute just to look at it. We don't have to eat it. I we think just have to look I at it. I think it's just I'm feeling very, the love. Pretty. I'm just. I think it's pretty. It, it, and it's, it and is. fast. And even though it's store-bought sauce, okay. you'll, you'll work on it next time. I promise I will. But I no, this does, will. Look, this does look good. You know what? Today no. was a lot of fun. It was. I had a lot of fun. You know, 15 years and going strong, you and I. Yeah. 
but why did you ask me about my insurance policy the other day? <laughs> I still don't understand that. And there's a bag of lye and a shovel kid, in the trunk. What is that for? I have kids to look out for. Come on, I gotta know. <laughs> so, the, so the, See, there's meat, no sharp objects around meatball here. Meatball and salad. There, you know what? That could be the starter. Yeah, that's Except great. they're two different cultures. You got Asian theme, and then you've got the Italian theme. Yeah, so, okay. Anyway, yeah, it has been great fun. And no, you know, it's been I, fun. I'll tell you, for, for the inaugural show, you really impressed me. I didn't think this was going to happen. I mean, the fire thing started off a little rocky. We've got to admit that. I had my cell phone ready to press that 911. But, but nonetheless, okay. thank you for joining us today. And I Jennifer, married the chef. And, and she will be back for the next show because, let's face it, she did it sort of all right. But we're watching you. We're oh, watching you. I appreciate you. it. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, you know it's what? been a That's great it. pleasure. And now, <laughs> step out of the way, please. And now, as your host, you said host. host. I'm not even a host. Well, I, what you know, are we? I have absolutely no clue. No. But we make good food. Yeah, we do. So, I think we should keep doing until it. Until the next time Hope on I Married the it. Chef, this is Jennifer, and I'm John. And thank you for letting us into your home, or no, into your kitchen. Into your kitchen. That's even better. Ah, Take care. That.